All right, what's going on YouTube? I haven't done one of these videos, a class out of video in so long. I usually do about two, three of these throughout the whole game, so I decided to do one. It's been a while, and I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Hope you guys are having a great day as well. So I'm going to cut it in half. I'm going to respawn first and then SND in another video just because I have a lot of SND classes that really need in-depth ex explanation. So I'm going to start off with this first class, ASM1 with double stuns. Now, this is the basic, you know, basic class, three attachments. Lightweight, fast hands, bus suppressor, toughness, overclock, and two stun grenades. This class is really good because stuns are overpowered right now. Uh, there's an update coming up that should nerf them a little bit, which is a good thing. But for now, they're really good. This is basically my main subclass. Then I have a bow with flag jacket, lightweight, and fast hands, toughness, and hardwire. This is basically a really selfish class, but it's really good because I'm pretty much blocked from stuns. A lot of you guys know that stuns pretty much, you know, it kicks your gun. So, like, if you don't have flag jacket and it stuns you, it kicks your gun up. And I'm pretty sure Flag Jacket also kind of blocks the white screen. So Flag Jacket is really good due to that. It blocks the kick. And I'm not too sure about the white screen. Maybe um, Hardwire does that. But either way, I like using this class off breaks. Um, on certain maps, you know, I love running the bow off break. And since a lot of teams run Hardwire, and since a lot of teams, you know, stun the shit out of the spawn or whatever you're pushing, this class is really good because there's no point in me stunning people that are running Hardwire off break. And on top of that, you know, I pull out my knife, I use overclock, and I just get to my area really fast. I have a bow pre in you, and it's, it's a really good, effective class to use off break. I'm mainly a sub class, a sub player, but you know, this is a good class to use off break, especially to counter stuns and all that. Next, I got my sub. Same thing, you know, basic three attachment, all that stuff. But instead of to having double stuns, I have trophy. Trophy is really good. Uh, like I said, they're they're buffing. I, I guess they're nerfing stuns to the point where the stun range can now be blocked by trophy. So if you try to pop it. Uh, before hitting the trophy, the radius won't will basically be blocked. So there's no way of doing that anymore, which is a really good thing. I'm still waiting for that update. But regardless, um, having the trophy on a class is really good. You know, I love using this class, especially since I'm a really aggressive player. You know, really aggressive sub player, just getting in their face. And having this trophy helps my team out because I get to block two projectiles. So overall, it's a good class. You know, basic sub good class. Now I have the same class, but with nades. There's a lot of hills that people don't understand in certain maps, like Solar, the second hill, the second hard point, in a bio lab, the blue hill when you're all just stacked in that small blue hill. And there's hills like that on that on certain maps that spammage of nades can help break it because if your team keeps spamming nades, like let's say you pull out four or six nades, even if they have trophy, all right, they have one trophy in there because no teams really run two, two trophies. All right, they block two nades. Four more nades are coming in there. They're either going to weaken them or kill them. So it automatically gets one guy out of the hill, and then you just pinch the hill, you just team, you know, use the teamwork, and boom, they're all dead. And that's why I have nades, but Patrick Price, aka X, doesn't want me to run nades, so I'm probably going to take this class off, but I still recommend people uh, to use that to your advantage, especially in small hills like that. And just like, be careful what you, when you, where you're going with nades, because team kills happen a lot, but it's really good. Next, I have my BAL class. I don't have too many of those because I'm mainly a sub player, like I said. But this is the basic double stun class. I really don't have this class high up in there because, as you guys can see, I have a sub. I have a rush BAL, which I use off breaks. And I have two more subs. These are my three main subclasses. And I have another uh, bow just because I use it here and there. But I do have double stuns for it. It's a basic thing, you know, lightweight, fast hands, toughness, blast suppressor. And you know, it's a basic class. Let's, let's put some tiki in there. Make it make it look nice. Next, I got my ASM1 hardwired. So basically, the same as my stun class off, you know, off my first one. But instead, I have hardwired on. Hardwired, I feel like it's really underrated. Uh, people don't use it. A lot of people don't use it. Uh, they complain too much about the boosting around. You know, you can see your enemy, and I agree. You know, it sucks that you can see where your opponent is, or they can see where you are, and it's like it. It feel like I feel like it makes me play different at certain times because like let's say I'm in a certain situation where all right, I want to rush this guy but I can't rush this guy because if I boost towards him or I boost back or if I boost like really fast on him he knows I'm there he's just gonna pre-aim me so that's the only reason why I don't like using it but against teams who run six eight stuns because team literally run like eight six eight stuns every team almost does and it's insane you know our team runs like maybe four stuns two stuns but you know a lot of teams spam it and it's understandable. Stuns are literally the most overpowered thing right now. Uh, they're probably they're pretty much gonna get nerfed. I believe it's on Tuesday the update. But either way, hardwire is really good for that matter. If you're playing a team with eight stuns, literally tell your team at least three people to pull out hardwire. There's too much boosting around. You know it's gonna confuse the enemy, so it's not even gonna be that effective uh, for one person running it. 
And you know, I don't like using it that much, but people need to understand, if you're getting stunned a lot, just please put out hardwire, like don't think about it too much, it's going to help you out a lot. Next, I have the same thing, just with hardwired, double stun, uh, bail class, and you know, it's my, it's one of my favorite classes. Uh, I really don't pull out this class much, because like I said, I'm a sub player, so I mainly always have a sub out, but I'd rather have this class out at times, because even when I do pull it out, um, I like slaying with it. So I like getting people's faces with it. I do have double stuns because like I said, stuns are overpowered and my team needs me to pull out more stuns. So instead of using this class, which is more selfish and kill whore-ish, I will pull out this class and basically I still have hardwire. I might, I mean I have flag jacket, but you know, I do have this double stuns to help my teammates out and throw shit at them. And my last class to end this, my ASM1 with hardwired and trophy. I don't see many teams using this class. Um, it's a little different, you know, nothing too special though. I'm pretty sure people have this class already. But I like this class because for people who run heavy stuns, you know, you get to run hard hardwire, which blocks it, and then on top of that, you get to run trophy. Um, depending if they're, th uh, you know, this this trophy is like a support thing. Like I could run hardwire double stuns, I won't get stunned. But if I have people who are getting naded or stun and hill, or if my teammates are running uh, hardwired, or you know, it just it just helps them out. It helps my team out. It's more of a less selfish class. You know, you get to. Get, you don't get stunned because even sometimes the trophy doesn't block stuns, right? It, it somehow stuns you and doesn't block it. So you don't get stunned. You know, you can run around. You don't ever get stunned, pretty much. And then on top of that, when the stuns are coming at you and it's at the range where it's get blocks and they didn't detonate it before, you know, before the radius, you know, you block it the trophy, which helps your teammates. So it's a really good, you know, non selfish class that I like using as well, especially if they're rock, rock and heavy stuns. I like using this class, but... You know, at certain times when there's like 6-8 stunts, it's smarter for me to just pull out this class, which is a lot more effective if you think about it. But that's it for my respawn class video, guys. I wanted to share this with you because a lot of people on Twitter have been, you know, tweeting me and telling me, uh, you know, make a class video, do this. So I was like, I might as well do this for you guys. And it's it's nothing too complicated. It's very short. You know, just showing my classes real quick and a small explanation on them each. And I have, I want to do S&D as well. Like, I'll show you I have this class. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I have a lot of S&D classes, and I really want to go in debt with that because they're they're really good classes. I'll just say that. I'll just explain that. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. This has been your boy Apathy, and I'm out. And I'm pushing our glass with overclock and stuns. Let's get it. There you go. Call out like that, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm hit with an eight. I'm one shot. I'm double shot. I'm one cup. One cup. One cup. Look at three. They all. They all. Three. They're all glass. All glass. Oh, we spawned out, guys. Spawned out. Make sure we try to get. We gain control of glass. We gain control of glass. I'm pushing out yellow cat. I don't spot no one. They're behind the pipe. That's a behind the pipe. Nice. Good kill. Glass, glass. P1. 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 You hit me with that name. Inhale. 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 I'm one shot. Where's he? Inhale. I need to call out. Hell got me. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Alright, I'm using. I'm using flag jacket. I need flag jacket out. Nice. Oh, dip, 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 dip. One shot and one P2. 